how to rotate custom shapes in Photoshop. Well, as with most things with Photoshop, there are actually probably a few ways of doing it. And also depends really on the uh, um, shape you're using. If you're using the shape as a shape layer or a shape as a fill or maybe a fill on just a background layer. So I'm just going to start with the background layer first. Of course, if I just quickly use pixels option, just set here, I've got the custom shape tool here set. There's some shapes here. They're from graphicextras.com. And I'm just going to apply it to the background layer. So just quickly apply that. Now you've got a straight design there. And now, of course, you can't transform that. So the only way you can do that is do it via the image, image rotation. Set a value there. Right. Well, that obviously probably has a shape. But next step I'm going to show you is quickly create a layer, new layer. Click OK. And now I'm just going to apply the same design. Again, it's a pixels option. I'm just going to apply it to there. Now, just go over to the tool over here, the move tool. And you'll notice that the uh, bounds come up here. Show transform control. So if that's not actually set, you won't see these. So just take that off. Now, it's not so easy now to transform it, of course. So just put those on. And now you can actually rotate the layer you wish just like that also of course when you're actually doing that you can actually set the value over here so I'm just going to say set it to say 45 so it rotates to 45 and also you can just drag so I'm just going to hold the mouse down and I'm just going to drag and it's obviously it's a bit slower just as it slows these very very slight changes as you can see and of course you can drag across and it's only 43 42 41 so it's fairly slow way of doing it right so you've done that now obviously the probably the one that you wanted to do and that would be and i'm just going to go get rid of that and i'm just going to go back to the shape tool and i'm just going to select shape and again just apply the shape now it's a vector design so you can actually rotate it without any sort of uh, impact on the shape so i'm just going to now just go again up to this tool and just going to rotate it so rotate it like that or you can set the value again over here again it's very slowly slow move across there also i'm just going to click okay there you've got to click that uh, little tick box or press return another option to do would be edit transform and then rotate so i'm just going to do that option and again, of course, you get basically the same as what you had before. But uh, obviously, it's much easier, quick, easier way of doing it the other way. But uh, that's another way of doing it, using the edit menu. And press turn again. So once you've done that, you can, of course, also use the transform again, which you can. So if you set it, say, like the angle is one degree or two degrees, you can actually just go transform again, transform again, transform again. Of course, you can set up a quick a shortcut for that if you wish. See, there's a shortcut there but you can of course set it to something more useful than that another option to do is to actually set an action and that's probably one of the things that I like doing for most things and that's just quickly record a new action just gonna set up now record and I'm just gonna rotate it a couple of degrees just like that and I've stopped it I've recorded the action now I'll go back to there and just go click click so you can just quickly rotate of course you can set it to be 45 degrees 90 degrees whatever and so you can quickly apply a rotation very 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 fast so that's the basic steps for doing rotation. another option of course would be to actually copy the shape design and copy it over into illustrator and then obviously rotate it in illustrator and then paste it back now it may be a bit extreme but you might want to do other modifications as well so and probably there's also scripting as well you could use to actually apply that's again probably going a bit more extreme